The question now says an aeroplane is flying at a speed of 360 kilometers per hour. So this is the speed given to us. How much time will the aeroplane take to cover a distance of 240 kilometers? Now let us write the data that has been given to us. Okay, for the first part, let us write down first the speed. The speed is given to us as 360 kilometers per hour. And the next data given to us in the first part is the distance that is 2400 kilometers. Now, what do we have to find this? Here, the question is asking us how much time will the aeroplane take to cover a distance of 2400 kilometers. That means here the question is wanting to find out the time taken by the aeroplane to cover the distance of 2400 kilometers. So let us write down the formula for time as we had discussed time is equal to distance traveled by the object by upon the speed. Now we have both the data given to us. Let us check. We have the speed also. We have the distance also. Now you have to check about their units. Whether their units are same. The distance is in kilometers and the speed is also in kilometers per hour. So that means the units are appropriate. We can put them as it is. So when we put them, we would get 2400 upon the speed that is 360. On cutting the zeros, we get 240 upon 36 we are getting them simplified further with 4 you can get 60 in the numerator and 4 nines as 36 still we have some common factors so we can divide it further with 3 that gives us 20 over 3 that means 20 over 3 is the time you can leave the answer in hours as it is or you can convert it into the mixed fraction that is by dividing 20 with 3, you get 3 6 hours 18, remainder 2. To write the mixed fraction for this, we have 6 whole 2 upon 3. So we write 6 whole 2 upon 3 hours as the time taken by aeroplane to travel a distance of 2400 kilometers. This was the first part. The next part is asking us how far the aeroplane flies in 10 seconds. Now here we have the time given to us as 10 seconds. So let us write this down. We have the time given as 10 seconds. We have the speed as it was given in the question as 360 kilometers per hour. Now what do we have to find out? How far the aeroplane travels? How far means we have to take out the distance. So we write down the formula for distance that we have learned. Distance is equal to speed into time. Now let us check whether we have both the datas or not. We have the speed and time both. Now let us check about their units. Here the unit of time is in seconds whereas the speed is in kilometers per hour. That means the units are not matching. What you can do? Either you can convert 10 seconds to hours or you can convert the speed into meter per second both will do the same work so I am converting this into meters per second by multiplying this with 5 over 18 what do I get I get 0 and 100 I get 100 meters per second as the speed now let us check the units the time is in seconds the speed is in meter per second the units are matching so we will just place it in the formula we would get 100 into the time that is 10 and we get 1000 meters as the distance traveled by the aeroplane now this is the distance in meters you can give it in kilometers also but here we have the units both in kilometers also and we have the units for if the data is in meter per second you can write it in meters only if the data is given to us in kilometers you can convert it into kilometers no matter what your answer is going to remain the same and it will be right for both the cases either you write it in meters or you convert it in kilometers the value remains the same the third part of the question is what is the distance covered by aeroplane in 45 minutes now again you have to calculate the distance only but here the time has changed 
so let us write that down now the time has changed to 45 minutes so let us write that 45 minutes as the time we have the speed of the aeroplane already given to us as 360 kilometers per hour and we have to find out the distance as we know the formula for distance is equal to speed into time so we write that out speed into time now before moving forward let us check do we have both the values yes we do have but their units are different because the time is in minutes whereas the speed is in kilometers per hour so what we do we convert the time into hours by dividing 45 with 60 that makes the hours so now we have the time also in hours and the speed is also in kilometer per hour we have the same units we'll place it in the formula and we will derive that 360 into 45 over 60 would give us the exact value as 270 kilometers now 270 kilometers is the distance traveled by the aeroplane in 45 minutes so this is how you can use the different formulas and please before using the formulas you must check about the units the units have to be same before placing them into the formulas